you all. And I took a moment to look out in the audience and see how many friends I have out there. Friends I know who may have traveled from out of town to come and celebrate with my family and me. And I appreciate you taking this moment to come celebrate with us. And as I look around the room and I heard the remarks, I'm reminded of how quickly time passes. Because I stood here before you over three and a half years ago. And I took the oath to start my public service to you at County Civil Court at Law Number 1. That was three and a half years ago here in this very courtroom. And here we are back again. At that time, my son was just three, and our daughter was just five. In fact, Ethan, I don't think, made it through the ceremony. I remember him falling asleep. <laughs> and now I'm very proud of them as they came up here before you all and led you all in the pledge. And that reminds me of a little tradition I have with our children. Every morning, as I take them and drop them off at school or summer camp or whatever it may be, we have a little tradition. And I look in my rearview mirror, and I look back at them in the back seat, and I always say, what's mommy's most important job? What's my most important job? To take care of you. To take care of you.
proceedings, and some of the lawyers had to put up with me randomly calling on them to face the students and explain why they were there. And I hope you appreciated why I may have done that. Because if I would have had that opportunity, if a judge would have done that for me, that would have been life-changing. You see, I've always had the call for public service. But growing up, I had never met a lawyer. Growing up, I had never met a judge. And growing up, I had never met an elected official. So if someone would have given me that experience, again, that would have been life-changing. But I believed that becoming a lawyer and becoming one of your public servants was possible through hard work, determination, and individual merit. Just like these three children here from Kennedy Elementary School exemplify. Would y'all stand up?